M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Still playing around with the Zygu G90 and the CE19 adapter that you use. Now I have configured the wires. I made a separate video configuring the wires on the three cables that come in the box with the CE19 and I will link that video in the description uh, for assembling the wires. Otherwise you plug in the ACC adapter into the back of the CE19, you can see it there. Uh, big black chunky thing and plug it into the back of your Zygu. It only goes in one way and there's only one place it can go. Then you get the blue cable that comes in the box of firmware and plug it into the head unit in the bottom, the bottom connector or the bottom hole on the left of the head unit into your PC. Once you've done that and you've got your cable made, then you've got the microphone and speaker that goes into a USB adapter into your PC. So I am getting connections. I find that I think my AOC is, is a bit strange because it will start off at 21 and then near the end of the transmission when, the, when there's no audio, it goes to 100. Apparently we need it under 100. But I am getting a link and I can hear it on my other radio when it TXs. I can hear it on my, got the 710 in the background just listening. I'll turn that up next time we TX. But you can see I've got a contact there with PD4TK. So something's working. I'll show you my sound settings. So we just go to control panel here. Then hardware sound and click manage audio devices. So... Speaker wise or playback, look, it's the correct one USB PNP sound device. So we'll double click that. I'm going to look at the levels. There's my levels. Now I found that you do have to keep this microphone off. The levels here, I could go a bit higher if I try and get a bit more ALC if, I, if that's the right way around. So I'll just turn that up a bit. Um, so otherwise, I haven't set anything, I haven't clicked anything else I've just literally just using the slider let's have a look at anything else yeah so nothing else changed there apart from the slider click OK then on the recording side I did rename it you don't have to but I did rename it and the levels we could go up a bit more on that see if that helps custom I didn't click AGC someone said you should untick AGC. So shall I untick it just for fun? And then general, that's where I renamed it there. I didn't really do anything else. Click OK. Click OK out of that. And then I, once you're in this window, you obviously need the green receive there. If that isn't working. I've got cat control. Cat control is done by... Cat control is done by the white, the sort of blue cable in the box with the FTDI uh, connector that goes into the front head unit. That's where you control that. So my settings are file settings, and it, when you plug it in, your window should install the ability to use the USB PMP sound device. And mine did do that, and it did it quite well. Radio, I've selected Zygu. G90, you can see that when you've got it correct, oh yeah, you have to right click, select um, device manager to see where your USB is coming in. And look, I've got USB serial port COM23. Now I did right click that, properties, and I did make sure that it was, ah, it's changed now. <laughs> it should be on 19200, so I'll change that now. I'm not, not really sure why that's changed. Click OK. Uh, like so, um, USB serial, close that down, but it has been working fine anyway, and here look, 19200, and then you can click test cat and test PT, click OK, let's just enable, it's still working fine, so maybe that's my, would that affect my ALC that the board rate was wrong? But I, like, like you can see, I've had a couple of contacts here. Not loads. Let it TX again and see what the ALC says. I'll turn up my 710. Yeah, you can hear it there. And that the ALC is still at 21. 
15 watts output. And then when you deke it, it goes back to 100. So is that okay? Someone let me know. But otherwise, it seems to be working. You know, it's all at levels that I think are acceptable. The next thing I'm going to do is try and remember how to configure grid tracker. I right click here on the blue section here. I do right click and click set TX off TX offset. Sorry, TX RX offset um, in, where there's a gap. And then I click enable and I wait for some contacts. So the next video I'm going to do shortly is to um, reconnect grid tracker because I haven't done that for many, literally like two years. So thanks for watching my channel. Hope hopes this sets, helps you set things up. I'm just going to show you a video quickly of my um, connections to the PC. You see that? Uh, but like I said, I'll link in the cable, the wires, which are sort of here. Like so. They look a mess, but they actually only took, once you know where to connect them, they took two minutes to wire them up. Thanks for watching my channel. I look like we just had a connection. Uh, you know, a contact. So thanks to PA0WCH. And we'll just keep going with this, but it seems to be going well. Bye for now, 7-3.